Trying you cheat? It's easy to take a lot of shops at this workshop. There's just so many great opportunities. That's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, that was face. cool. Like this new twist on an Old West card game at the Pack Saddle Saloon, featuring a pair of gunfighters you might not have seen back in 1880. Mean. I can't be mean. There you go. I'm not mean. <laughs> the saloon is inside a barn on the Steckline Ranch, a ranch that's really a photography studio with anything you need to create and shoot any kind of Western scene. Really, we have all the all the props and everything from all the big jobs that my dad has done. Um, we've shot Chevy, Pontiac, Marlboro, Copenhagen. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And all the props and all the scenarios are all right here. So it's literally like one of the best studios in the West. I mean, all the opportunity for shooting stuff outside is, is right here in our backyard. The smoke, the Colts, and the whiskey may look a little edgy, but it's all just good fun. Time out! I gotta get I'm trying to look mean. This is my mean face. And it makes for some great pictures. Shoot here. Yes, we are. The Stecklines recruit their cowboy neighbors to join in the photo shoots. You haven't got to take a picture of this one yet, have you? No, I haven't. Next door neighbor Bart Wachowski provided the animals and the property for that dramatic sunset shoot of the running horses. He's originally from Poland. Did you always want to be a cowboy in Poland? You know, I think every little buddy, every little kid dreams of being a cowboy at one point or the other, but. The Stecklines know all the cowboys because they're cowboys themselves. Taylor grew up horseback and can rope and ride with the best of them. He showed off his skills during yet another photo shoot in the ranch team roping arena. While we're all loving the opportunity to get these great shots and learn from the experts, the cowboy models, who do get paid, are having a pretty good time themselves. Coming out here, it's always a blast. There's always something fun going on, meeting new people and what the students get out of it. You know, a lot of these students have never been around this kind of stuff and it's an eye opener for them and it's fun to talk to them about it and tell them, you know, what we do and... Sharing the West. Sharing the West, yeah. We students joined in the fun too, putting on the Western gear and conjuring up our inner Clint Eastwood. While it's all about learning the art and craft of capturing a great image, the Stecklines Western photography is also about celebrating the culture of the West and the people who still get up and go to work every day on the back of a horse. We do the real deal, I mean, real authentic working cowboys and cowgirls and make everything right and, you know, do it the way it's done every day. And there's no actors, there's just guys doing their job. It's usually pretty fun. They're so good at what they do. Cowboys and cowgirls who ride for this brand have long appreciated the respect the Stecklines demonstrate for their way of life. All these people, they do it every day because they love it. They're not getting rich on it. and just want people to, you know, see the West as we know it. There's a lot of honor in what we do and, and how we present ourselves. And because people like you come and take the pictures, we're honored. But, uh, you know, if you can delete the ones that show us on the ground, <laughs> your ass in the air, that'd be awesome. As this memorable weekend came to a close, seminar students, friends, and family gathered in the Pack Saddle Saloon. I feel so blessed, and then everybody helped too. I, I felt like I was part of the family. Where we shared our best photographs of the weekend. Lots of fun to see the pictures shared with new friends, who we are likely to see again. After all, 80% of the workshop students here are repeat customers. Cheater on the other end of that. It's so much fun. <laughs> As the sun set at the end of that grand photo shoot of those running horses, it was pretty easy to see why. Fun day, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was super fun. Had a good time. For more information on the people and places featured in Today's Wild West, or to order show DVDs and books, visit todayswildwest.com.